Camino knocked out a Oh, Thiago Alejandro! Uh, yeah, I think that just is. Oh! I told you. Oh, as we my see here. goodness. Boom. Ooh. Welcome back, kapatid. Kilala ang Pinoy journeyman na si John Jimeno at inaguri ang The Disaster dahil sa lakas nito. Si Meno ay tubong Lipa City, Batangas. May taas na 5'3 at lumalaban sa Super Featherweight Division. Madalas na kinukuha ang Pinoy Journeyman ng mga boksingerong gustong umangat ang record. Kumbaga, pampataba lang ng record. Dahil sa hindi kagandaan ang record ni Meno, kaya gano'n na lang kababa ang tingin at maliitin ang ating kababayan. May mga top-rated boxers na din ang nakalaban ni Meno gaya nila Andres Gutierrez, Juan Carlos Sanchez, at Christian Gonzalez. Bukod yan, kahit mga undefeated fighter at prospect ay hindi inurungan ng the disaster ng Pinas na si John Jimeno. Gaya na lang ng alaga ni Bob Arum, ang top rock prospect at undefeated American fighter na si Toka Kant Clary na may record na 19 wins, 0 loss at 13 knockouts na ginanap sa Florida, USA. Kumpiyansa si Clary na mananalo at madaling kalaban lang ang Pinoy. A buscar la oportunidad del título del mundo, insisto, llegaba invicto, eh. Permiso. Un toca a Canclari que debutara el 29 de junio del 2012. Fíjese, noqueando a Jonathan Cabal. Mientras que Gemino debutó noqueado también ante Frolán Saldívar el 9 de octubre del 2009. Venía toca a Canclari de noquear nada más de nada menos que Canclari en 4 de 10, aquel 14 de mayo del 2010. Venía con buenas que decir. El peleador nacido allí en Monrovia. Sí, sobre todo la historia triste que ya mencionaba. Impresionante el gancho cortito de mano derecha por parte de Gemino. Vamos entonces. Ang bilis ng panyanyari ng tamaan siya ng matinding right hook ng kamao ni Jimeno. Pinilit pang bumangon ngunit hindi na kinayanan. At gulat na gulat si Clary sa nangyari at hindi matanggap na tapos na ang laban. First round knockout. Ito ang malaking upset na nangyari kay Toka Khan Clary. Samantala, may isa pang humamon sa Pinoy, journeyman, ang undefeated na American fighter na si Arnold Alejandro na may record na 11 wins, 0 loss at 10 knockouts. Habang ating kabayan na si Meno may 20 wins, 12 losses at 10 knockouts. Malaki ang tiwala ni Alejandro na madaling kalaban itong si Meno dahil sa dusing talo nito. Ngunit muling na-upset ang Pinoy ang laban na ginanap sa MGM Grand Garden Arena Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. This veteran, who, uh, you need to watch out, he has a, a sneaky right hook. There we see it right uh, A couple of them that switch up. Just because... Shots him. Mino, his corner imploring him to move. Mino knocked out a toe. Oh, Diego goes Alejandro! With that same shot, he uh, KO'd Toko Khan, so uh, he needs to be careful the rest of the fight here, uh, Alejandro. That, he connected. Let's see if Camino can capitalize on this, showing that Pinoy power right now in those punches. He's coming forward. Big hook there. Exchanging now on the inside. Alejandro moving back. Keeping his gloves up. It's coming at him right now. Keep calm, keep calm. Zamino so continues to move forward. Throwing punches, Alejandro Smart. Yeah, and he doesn't want to get caught coming in because yeah. he is rushing in with these punches. As we see here, trying to get inside Zamino. And that, you'll getting you'll prepared. see the straight, boom. Just a really... A lot of these more, Alejandro. Good exchange there by both these guys. You know, Pawing with that jab, is he big? Good exchange. 
Mino doing a good job of keeping his foot on the outside of Alejandro's lead foot. Yeah, Both fighters exchange there with that left, so uh, that could be the recipe for him for the rest, the rest of the round. So you come down to the final seconds of this round number two. Gaining it. And you saw a little more in the second. Good exchange. One, two, miss. Trying to maintain that loss. Column in zero is Alejandro. But he has a tough cookie now. It's a big challenge for him, suffering that knockdown that could be behind big on the cards at this point. And it's an eight-rounder, so in the judge's eyes, you want to just basically start uh, working a little harder than your opponent. Alejandro is. He just can't reach him right now. Alejandro doing a better job of making Hamino fight at his pace, but his punches are fine. It's good strength there by Alejandro. This would work if he would not have been knocked down in that first round. Yeah. Yeah, but now he's behind. We start out the fight. You will get that first round 10-8 for him, you know? Yeah. As of now, it looks like he's been behind in this fight. Trying to pick up the pace. Sometimes these records are deceiving, though, Felix. So come to the final 10 seconds of round number three. Hamino coming forward. Alejandro doing his best to evade the aggressiveness. Calm. You'll get to him. Let's see if it's true. Yeah, he looks a little bit more subtle. The counter and slip there. Missing his right was Alejandro. Gets tapped by the power jab of Hamino. Ortiz fight, Santa Cruz against Flores. It's also worth mentioning Figueroa against Seja and uh, Liduan Barthelemy against Eduardo. And both guys really thinking in there. Now a lot of punch. Amino was doing much better inside. Now he's taking it outside and that's to the advantage of Alejandro wants to fight. Yeah, this is his fight right here. He has a little more reach. Let's see what uh, Amino can do to counter that. Over aggressiveness can work against you. Uh, he needs to be careful. Alejandro. Of course, a big night for both both boxers here for Alejandro in the first round. Alejandro letting his hands go a little bit more. Is keeping uh, Hamino at bay. Yeah, Good series of punches there from him. Alejandro Hamino not, not as overly aggressive as he was. On the outside now. Doesn't want to feel that. Alejandro digging to the body. Three punch combination. Follows it up to the body again. He's doing good work now. Yeah, I mean, I slowed down definitely since the first round. Fight. Well, he's on his way there. If you give him the last round, good straight just now. And then this round, he's doing really well. He, he's getting back in there. He would keep this up going for a while. Oh, Amino comes back. The best we've seen from him in a while. Another good round for, I guess, Mikey Garcia, Robert Garcia. So we begin round number five. Here at the MGM Grand, Alejandro fighting his way back into this fight. Not allowing Camino to... You uh, kind of know that you have to battle. That's what Alejandro's been doing since the first round. Uh, excuse me, Alejandro very methodical with his punches. Look at that, just evaded six punches there. Yeah. Oh, there's skills. Goes Amino bobbling his head, making believe he's hurt. I don't think so. Success over the course of these uh, five rounds, going to the body with that straight could be a contributing factor as to why Amino has slowed down a bit. His hands are a little down, Alejandro. That could be. Uh, yeah, I think that just is. Oh! I told you. I don't think he's going to get up, Felix. It's all over. John Hamino, one a punch knockout. Flatlines. Alejandro here at the MGM. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my here. goodness. Boom. Ooh. Down. That's it. He's out. He's out. Oh, man. Panalo ang ating kababayan by a pipro knockout. At yan muna, mga kapatid. And I always thank you for watching. I knock out John the Disaster!